Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. This is episode 115. Read the cookie shuffle, guys. I'm Joe. I'm Dave. And I'm Sarah. And this week, we are joined by a very special guest, the first person we've ever had on the podcast that none of us actually know personally. Everyone meet Haley. Welcome, Haley. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. (laughs) So, Haley, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, um, my name is Haley. Um, I've been in Buffalo, born and raised. Um, Currently live in the town of Tonawanda. Um, I have two dogs. I'm getting married in June, and I... Um, run Buffalo Food, the Instagram account. <laughs> so we'll dive right into that because that's how I first discovered you was through Buffalo Food. Um, we talk about food on this podcast on a regular basis. Oh, I love, love food. Uh, awesome. So how did you get into, like, how did you start this Instagram? So I, like, even in college, I was just really weird. Like, I was just <laughs> taking pictures of, like, food and posting it to, like, personal Instagram account. And everyone was just like, like now, if you do that, like, that's like your whole thing. Pet yeah. people are like, uh, you just like, don't do that. Instagram was a different time back in like 2015, mm-hmm. yeah. 2014. And, um, I was in between jobs kind of like, I had like a three week period where I had like time off and I asked my, uh, boyfriend now fiance. And I was just like, should I like just make a, a secret, like Buffalo food Instagram account? And he's like, yeah, sure. So I did it. And like, I was so weird. I was so secretive about it. I didn't tell anyone it was me, but I was like following like all my friends and family. And they're like, who is this? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I tried to like keep it a secret, but eventually everyone's like, okay, this is you. I'm like, "Uh," I just was like, I don't want like people to like judge me. Right. Yeah. Again, because back then that's like, that was a different thing to be on Instagram and have a whole separate account just for one thing. Is like Now it's like, so now it's like, oh yeah, like. Yeah, it's super normal. But like mm-hmm. back then, I, was, I don't know why I was so scared. But eventually, um, yeah, I just would like go to restaurants and like take pictures of food because a lot of the times when I like, I love looking at like menus and stuff before I go out to eat. And sometimes I, um, there weren't like any pictures to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would be like frustrated because I would get something and it's not like what I expected. So right. I was like, I like knowing what I'm going to eat, you know, and like how it looks and like the portion size, like Mm -hmm. things like that. So, um, so yeah, so I just kind of started doing that and like, kind of like a slow thing. This was like probably four, four, four or five years ago. And since then, obviously Instagram's changing, iPhone quality's changing, um, really just like, reached out to restaurants or they would reach out to me and form like partnerships or like helping them with advertising. And it kind of just turned into a fun thing. And I like helping like, you know, obviously the Buffalo community. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. That is so cool. cool. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely enjoy, um, cause I often do, if I'm going to a new place, a new food place, I'd like to look up the menu. Yeah. I got to know what I'm getting into. Yeah. Some people don't care. Like, my dad, I know, like, he's just, like, he'll just go out to eat and kind of, if if it's, like, like three or four things that are, like, typical, like, chicken parm, spaghetti, you know, and he's getting one of those. But, like, uh, me and my mom were, like, oh, my gosh, we have to, like, look at every single thing. Before. Yeah. It's just, like, I love, like, pictures of food. <laughs> yeah, and half the time I do look it up, there's no, there's no pictures. Or there's just pictures of their, like specials yeah right there's always yeah. pictures of like the the basic things like you yeah, said. newer mm-hmm. stuff or special like yeah. a new cocktail like i always love seeing that like mm-hmm. people average if like you're going somewhere for like i don't know just like a night out and you're like oh i want to try this cocktail like that's i always do that yeah that is really cool um jumping off something that you said uh you like get into like partnerships with the restaurants help with advertising and stuff so at what point did they start reaching out to you? Or has it always been you reaching out to the restaurants? It was um, probably mm, like a year before the pandemic. So probably 2019, Mm -hmm. where I really started to like, people were like, were approaching me, like friends and family. They're like, you can make something of this. Like you are already kind of getting invited 
like to eat sometimes, but like, why don't you reach out? And I was always like, oh, I hate like asking for, for free stuff. <laughs> but I just was kind of like doing it as like a return thing. Like, Hey, I'll make a post about you. If you have like, not like a crazy amount of people, just like me and one other person in, and it yeah. was like, definitely like, I saw so much su uh, success with that in 2019 and then the pandemic hit and it was just, Oh my gosh, like just a crazy time where like everyone was shutting down and I yeah. never ordered so much takeout in my life from like all these restaurants just trying to like keep up my account and helping them because right, yeah. especially like like the fancier not like too fancy but like those types of like people if they're ordering takeout they're typically ordering like you know sushi thai pizza like sandwiches type things and yeah. not like i don't know picking up from more of like a pasta like high right yeah so my go-to takeout is pizza always oh yeah same <laughs> So yeah, so I was just trying to like figure out then and like that whole year I like just stopped like reaching out. Like I didn't want to like, you know, take advantage of anyone for like free free stuff. I know how bad they were struggling. Um, but during that time is when I was also reaching out to more like brands. So like brands that have money, <laughs> like yeah. the bigger ones, like <laughs> like I don't know, like Labatt and Pepsi and like those types of brands that I was doing like, you know, the the, the sponsored posts. So yeah, um kind of transitioned to that during the pandemic as well which was like ironic but they always need people you know like right yeah they have a lot of money so except for like you know the restaurants that i've just felt like oh my gosh i need to do whatever i can to promote and like keep my account going because when you stop posting it's when like oh yeah the second you're done so, <laughs> yeah that is so crazy <laughs> And free food sometimes, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'll. I'll never complain about free food. <laughs> it's always it's taste cool. Like I've tried to like. It's just um like sometimes like yeah like I'll order like whatever we want and then they'll bring out like other stuff that I would never think about getting and I'm like okay. oh my gosh it's like I would never think about getting this like yeah especially desserts like I'm not a dessert person at all like I don't have a sweet tooth <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'll like I like it I'll have like a couple bites. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good, but I would never have tried this if, um, like I didn't order it. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, like, since you had blown up through doing it all, does it ever feel like more of like a job and less something that you enjoy, or do you still continue to like enjoy going to places mm -hmm. in Buffalo and posting about them? I don't, I don't really consider it as, um, a job. There's sometimes where like, I've like, things have like expectations have been like, I would come in and uh, sometimes it's not all the time. It happened a few times where like I would come in somewhere and ex the exchange between Instagram wasn't related to the restaurant. And then, so I would be like actually paying for everything and I would like promise to do the post. So like, it was one of those things that like did kind of feel like job like, and I'm trying to like sift through, like just trying to make everybody happy type right. thing. Um, but no, other than that, it's, it's just been fun. And mm -hmm. like, the only thing I think is like the most, uh, stressful thing is like making sure like there's some natural lighting or if people like don't care about the flash in restaurants. Cause that I have like a panic attack when like, I like my flash goes off and I'm like, I forget it's on or, or yeah. something like that. Or like, if I'm like, okay, I have to, I have to just do the flash and like whoever I'm with are like, just do it. Like, like <laughs> somebody build a wall around me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's like stressful, but I'm, I always like tell the rest, I'm like, just put me in the corner. If you have me in like, if yeah. it's dark, but if it's like natural lighting, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like off the food topic quickly, because, oh. um, you said you had two dogs, so I just want to know what kind of dogs. You yes, have. <laughs> I have a um, Catahoula Australian Shepherd mix, and then a Healer Cattle Dog mix, and they're both okay. really cool colors. I would call them, but they're sleeping right now. And mm. once <laughs> I wake them up, they like go wild. Um, hold on, I'll. Yeah, that was on my mind for like as soon as you said <laughs> it. So I was like, I'm gonna ask, of course. I don't know if you could see. Oh. Yeah, they're That's so cute. super cute. I actually just bought them. I posted on my personal Instagram, um, like a dog couch <laughs> sofa. Like it's like a hold on, I'll show you. It's so funny. <laughs> but it just came in today. It took. I just, just got like, it is it like a couch. miniature couch? Yeah, it has like those wooden. Oh my pegs. god! And it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it came in a day. I got off of Amazon and like 
I put on my Instagram, my personal one, and everyone's like reaching out. So I'm like, here's the Amazon link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just so funny. And it's just, it came in a day. It's good quality. And it's just so funny. <laughs> yeah. That made me think of, um, I saw it had to have been on Instagram. Somebody made a room, like dedicated a room into, in their house for their cats. And they like set up like a little like TV stand with a small, I think, I think the TV was like cardboard or something, but they had like five couches around cat towers, a whole thing along the wall for their cats. And just like, this is oh insane. My <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I love cats too. Do you guys have any pets? I've got a dog and a cat. Oh, I have, uh, well in the house, not technically mine, but we've got three dogs and one cat. Oh my gosh. Um, so at, at home in New Jersey with my mom, it, we don't have any pets, but I recently just moved to Manhattan with my best friend and she Ooh. has a dog. So Aww. I live with a golden. Uh, one, of the, 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 one of the cutest dogs I might so have. I love goldens. <laughs> yeah, they're She's adorable. The so sweet. They're so goofy. I love it. Yes. <laughs> um, do you ever give your dogs like a nice, rather than just dog food, do you ever cook them up something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you some nice human food. <laughs> yes, it was Bandit, my one dog's birthday yesterday. But either than that, like we were trying, me and my fiance, we were trying to talk about like, it, would it be cheaper and like healthier to like make their own food? Go, like, I don't know. I always see everything about- Dog food is expensive. Like, Oh, they have like, they eat, Um, it's called From, the mm -hmm. brand. And it's like 80 bucks for one of the, the yeah. huge bags. But like, they go through it every three weeks. So yeah. like, it's- I'm like, is it cheaper? And I always, we have like mixers that go in their food too. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, like they eat, I mean, I try not to give them like bread or anything bad, but they like all vegetables and fruits <laughs> and meat and things like that. I know they can't have like some like fruits and stuff like that, but yeah. So we should be expecting like a dog food Instagram account coming Good soon. Idea. Right? <laughs> Good idea. I've been like, I posted them uh, a couple of times. Um, but I'm like, whenever I do, it's like a hit. People are like, oh my gosh, post your dogs more. But like, they're so like, they're like attention thing. Yeah. I need to make sure like I have a whole production crew or else they would be all over the place. Attack if I'm like, I need to be holding up like a treat or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. You've got to get their attention because it's only going to be a few seconds. And then for having like picture. food in front of them too. Is yeah. Just, I've tried it and it's like, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Um, You said that uh you mentioned like how phone quality is getting better do you use only your phone to take pictures or do you have like a fancy camera that you use what's your go-to um my go-to is definitely the phone and people okay. would be surprised like how just from like practicing and like editing just making things like just brighter and like pop the color a little more yeah. um nothing too crazy that I do I just think like like the angles just really matter. Um, I do have a camera and I'll go to that if I'm going to like a restaurant, like photo shoot type thing. Okay. Um, but really like, I just, I think the phone is just people are like, Oh, you need, you need a camera, but I, I don't think you do. No, the iPhone. I have like wonders. an older iPhone too, like my, or from like 2020, December okay. 2020. And I need to get an upgrade because I'm the worst in my whole, I don't even have a case and it's all smashed. And everyone's <laughs> like, Haley, you, what are you doing? I'm like at the Bills game, like last week and, or, uh, yeah, like last week and no case, just throwing it around. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't lose any of this. <laughs> so I need to be careful. <laughs> yeah. I, I've got the 13 pro and I'll, the, the camera, the quality on this camera is incredible. It's the crazy. The pictures that I can take are so good. I know. And yeah, like if it depends like where you're going, like, I don't trust myself if I'm like going out with like, if I'm kind of like going to dinner and then another bar for drinks, I don't trust myself with the big camera. Like, yeah, I know, oh, yeah, for sure. I know I would forget it in like the bathroom, Yeah, <laughs> you know, like all that stuff. So yeah, if you're going to forget anything, it better, it'd be better to be the cell phone than yeah. an actual camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'd be gone in a second. So mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Find it on eBay the next day. Yeah. Your, your personal Instagram. Do you ever find like you want to post your personal content on your food Instagram or like your food content on your personal Instagram? Like, do you, like, how do you manage your content? Sometimes, um, sometimes if I'll, I'll like, like one of my like, uh, posts on my food account, I'll just put it to my story on my food one just sometimes. Um, but everyone's like, 
or like not everyone, everyone's been asking. No, no one asks. I'm just like, <laughs> my friends and family are like, you should just put like, especially like my fiance is just like the posts do like so well, like w- when you're in it and like, why don't you create like more stories of yourself, like trying different things, which I'm going, I think that's like kind of the route I'm going to be doing, whether it's like, um, like if I, if someone sends me like, um, like drinks or anything like that to try, like, I think I'm going to do more like stories of myself, like, Hey, like, (laughs) thanks so much for sending me this. So kind of like personal, like, uh, like easing it in, even though like yeah. everyone, like everyone's doing it, like video is just such a big thing. And like, I was yeah. just used to just strictly picture and I'm, I'm not shy at all, but like on video, I'm like, Oh, I don't know if like, you know, people yeah. I've gotten like messages when I like did like, um, uh, like brand partnerships with like McDonald's of men, like just weirdo men, like are in my DMS being like, you're a sellout, like, uh, stick to like, <laughs> sold out to McDonald's of all places. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I'm trying to like, I don't not rich at all. Like I'm trying to like get money to, to go out to eat and like, yeah, uh, right. Like you're you doing things. this is not selling out. It's you making a little bit extra cash so you can then yeah. go out and get more food to then promote stuff. yourself more. <laughs> Absolutely. So that was like one of the things that happened like last year. And I'm like, Oh, I don't know. Like, so, but everyone's like, who cares? Like you have a following yeah. for a reason. And if like those weirdos want to follow you, like for like a post at McDonald's and whatever. <laughs> McDonald's, so, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm they're trying the... to promote my, more myself, but I'm like, well, I have to get over that. Like, I don't care what anyone thinks. And it's like, I built it for this account for a reason. And, yeah. and people do like, like when I like post myself and cause it's like more relatable, you know, posting a face to a name and, and right. things like that. So, yeah. Have you seen the, speaking of McDonald's, have you seen the, um, the land, air and sea sandwich combo that they got going on? No. It's a big sandwich. It's a, and, it's, um, fish and chicken. It's a Big Mac, a McChicken, and a fillet of fish, and like oh, you can order it oh by name. And this thing is probably like I don't know, five inches tall or something like that. It's oh a my big God. sandwich. I don't understand how anybody would want to. Seems like yeah, a good that's... combination, but like it's just like I couldn't enjoy it because it's so big. Yeah, and it's like I'm going to eat it separately anyways. Yeah, 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 you're gonna take the sandwich apart. Eat it as three sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Oh this my thing God. was crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so you said that uh, you you started with the food Instagram because you were like kind of posting food pictures on your regular Instagram. Did it? How long after you started posting pictures on the separate Instagram did it like blow up? Like when was it you realized like wow this is something that I can keep doing all the time? Um, I think. I'm not too sure like the exact year, but it was when I was, I think I, and I hit like 5,000 followers. People were just like shocked. Like they were like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Like, yeah. I can't believe you hit, like, I remember it was like the big deal. Like when I hit 5,000 followers. Oh yeah. Um, and I was just like super confused. I like, I still am just like, people just, you know, well, on TikTok, people just blow up in a night. Like, oh yeah. It's so like, easy to blow up on TikTok. <laughs> I'm like, should I make a TikTok? And I'll be like, this, it's some, it's such a grind. Like people are like, oh, it's easy, but you have to like, I don't know, like depending what you do, like just have so much content every single day and like yeah, so much video content. So, um, I just think like, yeah, like it was when it was like 5k and then like now Instagram, since it's switching more to, to video, I need to like up the Instagram reels. Like they're really pushing Instagram is like in order for people to see your stuff. Now you need to be posting reels more, yeah. which I do like making reels and like, but it is harder to like get all those shots, you know, and like combine them. It's like more obviously like effort and work, but cause they, they're kind of competing now with TikTok. They're like, right, yeah. we want people to stay on the Instagram. Cause I do both. I love like scrolling through TikTok and then for like more pictures or like shorter videos, um, I'm on Instagram. So I need to like, keep that in mind for myself. Like, okay, I need a, if Instagram's like trying to, cause like, I have noticed it, like before I wasn't posting any reels and my engagement was just like way down. Yeah. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I wonder why. And then when I was posting, uh, started posting reels that went back up again. I was like, Oh my gosh. It's I all about the algorithm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know it always changes. It's not fair. I'm like, yeah. oh <laughs> that's, I, I'd like to say that I could never, but I guess that's what we do with this podcast. And, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you'll hear at the, at the end of, uh, the, the podcast, I always shout out my photography Instagram 
which is nowhere near as popular as yours. I've got 122 <laughs> followers. You've got 22,000 followers. <laughs> um, but like, no, that's great though. I love I, it. It's, it's so complicated to even try and understand it. And, you know, I'm not saying you've got a full understanding, uh, but you definitely know what you're doing to a certain degree. I'm sure you probably are like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but everything. Yeah. It's just every, like, I feel like every like few months it changes and like, yeah. there's a lot of like accounts that give like new tips, like, Hey, this is what's going on. This is how like, you need to get ahead of it. Like, I just saw something that in order for people to see my stuff, like they have to personally, or like see my stuff before everybody, I have to personally go to the page and like click like, but I don't know if it released yet, but it's something like that. My sister sent it to me. I'm like, Oh my gosh, another thing. Like, yeah. It's just, just making uh, it more complicated for them to actually get to your yes. profile. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going to be annoying and like post it being like, everyone click this, go to my page and yeah. click this button. Yeah. <laughs> they, they like make it so hard. For, like, I, I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. come on. I feel like that's why everyone was like going to TikTok. Right. Yeah. Because you could just blow up in a night. It's just yeah. wild. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, like we were saying, it's, it's so easy. It's difficult to make TikTok content at times like people who like make it on a daily basis but it's so easy for just one of those videos at random to blow yes up. yeah and you don't even have to do like hashtags or tag people or have yeah. like any following like i just when i scroll through it I, i'll like just look and i'm like oh my gosh this this person posted four videos and has like five hundred thousand views on one and yeah now they're and now they're famous. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> and now, now they're famous. walking the red carpet with Chris Evans. So it's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. Now they're in LA. <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, this is my favorite question. Um, obviously, you love food, correct? Do you have a least favorite? Is there something you refuse to eat? Do you like, is there one thing you hate? Yes. What um, is it? <laughs> mayonnaise. Oh, I know, like, I don't know, I can't, I can't have anything. People are always shocked, like, because if they see me, like, post whatever, like, I don't know, like, aioli, can't do it. Like, potato salad, mac, like, anything that has mayonnaise in it, it's like a fear. It's like a <laughs> I, I don't like mayo, but I do like aioli. Aioli is very good. I, I just can't do it. It's, like, in my head. And, like, I have people still, my mom's like, just try it. I'm like, I literally can't like, I'll eat anything else. Like I've been like eight years old eating like clams and snails, like all this weird stuff. Like I like, I know it's weird. Um, like I literally eat like everything weird. Like I don't have, I don't think I like, I really don't maybe like raw, like tuna. I feel like that's about it. Yeah. Maybe I'd say that's raw. a good choice. <laughs> yeah. Like when I go out for sushi, um, if everyone's like splitting that, I don't know what it's called. Tuna tatar. That's, yeah, I, mean, I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, mayonnaise and I guess tuna. <laughs> I would like to introduce you now to, to me and my brother, Dave, who hates all Our food food. under the sun. Oh, really? So our, our least favorite food is cheese. Cheese. No. Yeah. No. Cannot. Yeah, now, I have exceptions to that. I will eat like, so like we both Which like doesn't pizza. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Mine's. <laughs> make no sense. I'm like. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like we both eat pizza. We love pizza. Uh, Dave won't go beyond pizza. Um, I will eat like um, cheese fries, uh, nacho cheese, mm -hmm. Moe's queso, anything that's like melted. Yeah. I'll pretty much eat. Yeah. Um, but like even that's to, to an extent, I won't eat grilled cheese, even though that's melted cheese. I won't eat. Uh, anything else with cheese sandwiches with cheese. also like running like like uh the the family like <laughs> or is it, it has to right um uh, well, no no because we were actually just talking about it we had a family <laughs> dinner minus joe um <laughs> the other day and our oldest brother he doesn't like cheese our sister doesn't like cheese oh my gosh but like my mom she, she's not like crazy about it but like she eats it. My dad eats it. Um, my, our other sister eats it. Um, so it's, I think it's just like the four of us. Um, wow. I used, to, I used to, yeah. I used to like cheese, but it's now it's, I like woke up one day. I was like, no, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like, like any cheese. There's so many, any, cheeses. any cheese. And like, so like, I'll bring up the pizza thing to a lot of people. Uh, because it's like a new day. If every, if somebody's like, you don't like cheese, I go, this, this should be known worldwide. I'm just going to wear a <laughs> shirt. I don't like cheese. <laughs> but somebody comes up, they go, you don't that like any cheese. Good. I go, well, I like pizza. 
but so they're like, oh, you like mozzarella? I go, no, because I don't like mozzarella sticks. I just like cheese on pizza. Yeah, I don't like mozzarella, <laughs> mozzarella sticks. Sort of disgusting. Honestly, honestly, it's probably a good thing because it's not great. For yeah. You. Like sometimes, like I'm trying to like cut back on cheese right now. I'm like, I have a wedding coming up, and I'm like, I'm trying not to eat dairy during the week, and it's killing me. But I'm like, oh my gosh. But I I know somebody who, um eats pizza but takes the cheese off <laughs> our no that's tina takes the pepperoni off doesn't she yeah, yeah. Our, sister our sister takes the pepperoni, the pepperoni off oh my god yeah that's so funny well she won't just get cheese pizza no she won't get she needs the pepperoni like grease but she won't eat the pepperoni yeah. oh my gosh that's so funny yeah we're how a very big, picky how family. Big's your family what's that how big's your family it's uh Four siblings, our half brother, who's the oldest, so the five of us, and then our parents, of course. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, but we're pretty. Uh, I'd say we're pretty picky. Yeah, I mean, like, between just me and Dave, we are. So, like, let me just give you a quick rundown. Okay. Quick rundown of like the three big things that I always tell people I don't like: with cheese, pasta, mashed potatoes. Those are the big three. No uh, pasta too. Yeah, that- no pasta. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's um, like cheesy pasta. pasta. You're like, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I will say though, Dave well, and I talked about a this. Great thing. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I'm. I yeah. am a twig. You know, I'm out here, <laughs> <laughs> six foot, 140 pounds. <laughs> um, but Dave and I were talking when I was uh, telling him about your Instagram. We like were scrolling through some pictures, and we were saying that every single thing you post looks so delicious including the things with cheese including any pasta everything <laughs> looks you. so good but i mean i wish i liked cheese yeah i wish I cheese, it looks like <laughs> it looks really for. good but i wouldn't eat probably half of, of the things you post on your instagram <laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny yeah well it's not like sometimes it's like my fiance he's really picky so like if i'm like trying to be like healthy he will like get like you know the crazy stuff that i'll have like a bite or like I've already tried it in the past or whatever but like um I make him get like some of the meals that I'm like okay like you're obviously not eating if we go somewhere like kind of nicer he, mm-hmm. he'll eat like there's like one or two things for him like the chick uh, the pasta dish or like a, a burger or like a crazy sandwich that has like you know all this like meat and cheese on it um so so yeah I always try to like he's really picky. So I like, I use him for the, like the content that I'm like, well, I can't eat that. I'll blow up in one second. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's helpful. It is. Mm. Yeah. Cause I actually, we went to, um, um, this like kind of sushi place. I'm we're a family friends with it's Limehouse in Williamsville and he's never had sushi. And I, I thought I was just gonna, um, I didn't really know if I was going to be eating there or not, but he's just like, Oh, I'm not getting anything. And he tried, um sushi for like the first time like he's had it one time like this like fried shrimp tempura Mm -hmm. um obviously it's all fried but he tried this one it was like coconut uh something and he like almost ate the whole roll and he was like scared he was like oh my god (laughs) I was like I'm so proud of you it was like it was a huge thing I was literally shocked and I wasn't making a big deal about it I was just being like cool because I didn't want (laughs) Don't want to draw attention to it. I was like, oh my God, it's happening. Like, because I was like, we can never go out for sushi because you just don't like that stuff. Like, he's afraid, he doesn't like to try things that he knows what he likes. And he just, (laughs) that's how we are. That's how we are. (laughs) I won't, I won't try half of what I say I don't like. Like, guacamole avocado. I've never had it, but I don't like it. Same with him, but you, you guys would love it. Nah, I don't know about that. Especially the, especially the Chipotle kind it's really good i don't know it just looks it, any food that's that it it just looks off-putting and i don't i get it but it's so good yeah and i just pulled up <laughs> this picture on your instagram like that it no they won't there it is it looks oh, great but i I'm could kidding. not could not eat that what is that wow uh it's a that, yeah oh i thought it was like Pumpkin, um sidelines yeah yeah i can do um... it <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, I'm a very like go out chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich is Dave's go-to. My fiance's, favorite, my fiance's favorite too. Oh my gosh, buffalo chicken, grilled chicken, or fried chicken. 
if oh, it's on yeah. the menu, he's probably getting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me with like burgers or tacos. I'll get like, I'll yeah. go out. Of course, no cheese on either of those, but burgers or tacos. <laughs> am I going to? <laughs> I love it. Sarah, what about you? What don't you like? I don't necessarily like, so I used to be a very picky eater. Like, and then yeah. you turn 12. <laughs> <laughs> and so now I at least try. So my best friend and my roommate now, she is a very adventurous eater mm-hmm. and she loves to cook. So she, there has been like seven things that I've tried since we've moved in three weeks ago that I like, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, like I'll try it because it's here. Um, I don't necessarily like raw fish is mm-hmm. like where my thing is. Like I like shrimp scampi but I don't like shrimp cocktail okay I don't know what it is just not yeah no some thing. people are like that yeah and I like sushi like I like going but I always get like the vegetable rolls like, I do those, too those yeah are- I'm more I like avocado sweet potato yes. rolls those sweet are like potato. those are my favorite for sure yeah me too I really can't right now think of anything where I'm like ooh, I definitely won't get that like, yeah um, you're well, you're in a good spot to like try like probably some crazy food I don't like tomatoes. I think that okay. that's the one weird thing that I don't like is tomatoes, yeah. but I'll eat pico. Mm-hmm. Like if it's in something, I'll eat it. But like, if it's on a sandwich or on a burger, no, I'm I like, can't do, can't do tomatoes on something. Get rid of the tomato. Yeah. That's, that's my one, my one thing. I think I'm just like, I think I just grew up in, I don't, my dad's not picky either. Like, I mean, he just eats, I mean, we were like, as a child, like drinking tomato juice, like it was Oh, really God. weird uh, and like I love like I was like, I'm just not picky at all like it's any fruit or vegetable like I think I've tried everything um and uh, yeah I don't know what it is I just uh I guess mayonnaise just scarred me for some reason something and, about uh, mayonnaise yeah <laughs> and yeah but I I'm trying to think like yeah I think that's that's it or like I know this is like a drink but like just regular milk I can't do it oh hate um, milk disgusting yeah. I love milk yeah getting milk out of here <laughs> I don't like any dairy. I, I hate, I hate dairy. Uh, I, I will eat ice cream occasionally. Really? That's like probably like your health is going to be so great. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I should say yeah. it's, I also like never drink my, my meals consist of uh, snacks, candy and, and pop usually. So like my, I'm not healthy by any means. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. It's all about balance. <laughs> you putting out dairy probably just makes up for Maybe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dave, go ahead. Sorry. Um, do you, I would assume you like chicken wings, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Do you, what is your like, do you barbecue, medium, hot, mild, Cajun? Which I love, like? I typically go for medium and then I love like a charbecue. Oh, <laughs> so, all right. That's a good yeah, one. Like, I'm like barbecue on the pit. And then I also love garlic parm. And then I also love like trying like all wings. So if they have like the, like Carolina, like the golden Carolina sauce or like a chili sauce, like I'm always like, I always just will try everything. Mm-hmm. And then of, of course we're talking about wings. What's the best wing place in Buffalo for you? I, someone asked me this in like, um, like a little interview a couple years ago and I still think it's the same. I think, have you guys been to the Bon, the Audubon? Uh, it's not, it's in Amherst. It's by like sweet home. I've heard of it. I've never been there. So it's like such a hole in the wall and it's so good. Um, yeah, it's just good every time. And then I also really love, I know like everyone else loves it, but Elmo's it's so good. Is it? Where, where is Elmo's? It's in Getzville. Um, it's in the same plaza. I don't know if like (laughs) this, it's another food place, Burrito Bay. Oh, it's kind of by, like, more, Bay is more like, <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's in that plaza. <laughs> Dave's eyes just lit up at Burrito Bay. <laughs> Got it. Wait, I where went... do you guys live? We're from West Seneca. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm currently in Orlando. I work at Disney. Oh. Um, so, like, my my Buffalo Eats are slim to none these days. Uh, mm-hmm. And when I do go home, I end up going to, like, the same places. I always go to Wegmans when I go home. Mm-hmm. And then I go to Mighty Taco and then oh, Tim Hortons. Yeah. Like those are like the three places. I don't go to any like actual Buffalo specific places. Mm-hmm. So. I have never been to Buffalo. I oh. am 
friends with the two of them because I worked with Joe at Disney. I did the Disney college program oh my and gosh. that's how we became friends. And then I was a guest on the pod and now I'm a permanent host on the pod, but I've never oh, been to Buffalo. One so. of my best friends, Molly, she did the college program at Disney. Um, right before I met her, like my first job out of college is like how we met. And she, before that, she came from Disney. She was like, yeah, I just did this thing in Disney. I was like, that's what? Awesome. Yeah, so cool. It is cool. Wait, uh, what's like your job at Disney, Joe? I work at uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris. So I like drive the, the trucks around, talk about the Whoa, animals. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Oh my <clears> gosh, that's so exciting. I've, I've only been to Disney one time and I I don't know, I, I never um, got into it. I think I just wanted to, my parents said I, they took me one time when I was eight and I was just crying because I wanted to go back to the hotel pool. <laughs> And my sister you was knew what you like, wanted. <laughs> yeah, my sister was all like, I want to like meet all like the princesses and everything. And I was just like, take me to the pool. <laughs> yeah, I want to go swimming. <laughs> oh, that's and Disney great. can be a very overwhelming. Place. It can oh, it absolutely can be. Yeah. For sure. Place. Oh yeah. Especially- I, I'm not great in crowds. I I'll like uh, I don't know, like big concerts and things like that. Everyone's like, oh, Haley, Haley would not do well. I just get, cause I'm, I'm five foot tall and like, I just suffocate. <laughs> like even yeah. at, a, at a busy bar, <laughs> yeah. if, that's why I'm like, oh, if we're going here, I'm not going. <laughs> I just know I'm going to get smushed. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, what? go ahead. Sorry, Dave. Keep going. <laughs> um, what, um, what is, what do you think is like a very good bar? in in buffalo like uh Your favorite or for like a night out or like just where i like to go for yeah a night out a nice you know a nicer bar i guess um i love j i'm not like uh party partied up like downtown anymore i like like going out to dinner having a couple drinks and like being in bed by like 10 11 <laughs> um, like like that's like so i love going to um for like fun cocktails, I love like JT's um, on Elmwood. That's really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, where else? The new um, Casa Azul. I just went the other week. It's the old Cantina Loco um, on Allen. Like right oh, okay. Corner. Yeah. And it's just like fun. They play like fun music and I love like margaritas. So that's always a, um, a good place too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure. Like, I haven't really been out out only when my friends came home from like winter break or uh, just like for Christmas and the holidays and stuff. Yeah. And they're like, where should we go? And like, I am I'm meeting friends tomorrow and they're like, where should we go? Haley? Like out at night. I'm like, I don't know about night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You want like, lunch? I got you. But night, yeah, I don't so know. <laughs> like, br- brunch is a different story. Like brunch yeah. you can like go all day. But yeah. like night, I don't know. Because I don't know. Like I've I'm not like, oh, like, let's get all like fancy, like only special occasions. I'm like, where can I get in with like this sweater? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And like not be like the odd one out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have one last question uh, and then I've I've run out of things. Uh, Do you have a favorite picture on your Instagram? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think, I don't know about like my favorite, like certain picture, but I think my favorite pictures that I've taken are like the pasta pull like the pasta pull where like I pull like the noodles up those are always like the good one that like has yeah. always oh like, wow yeah <laughs> I'm looking at one <laughs> like now wow, that's- <laughs> down, like, yeah like those always do well like I'll like show um, my fiance I'm like which one should I post the one like just the dish alone or like the noodle pull and he's like the noodle pull yeah it's like <laughs> satisfying to, yeah. to look at oh it's I'm, I'm shaking behind the scenes and I like try not to breathe I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I get so upset when like a noodle falls yeah it's like out of place I'm like <laughs> so any of those <laughs> that's a good one again wouldn't need it but it looks really good <laughs> <laughs> I have another question would you ever consider like extending your content past just Buffalo? Like when you travel or like go somewhere else or like even anywhere else in New York, like, do you post that? Do you not post it? Would you yeah. extend past Buffalo? Like I, well, I'm curious. Good question. This has always been like something like, 
again, it kind of brought me back to the traumatizing uh, McDonald's haters. Um, and because I think I it was like in Rochester and someone was like, stick to Buffalo. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I get my name is Buffalo food, but I think I should just like, I well, want Buffalo's to. just where you're from. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I know people like uh, have, you know, created like their like Buffalo food account and then are like have another account. But it's just like, I don't know, like I on TikTok, I follow even um, on my Instagram, I follow so many people that are based in like Miami and New York City for food. So mm-hmm. I want I mean, I, I would definitely want to. Um, I haven't been like, since the pandemic, a crazy amount. But I think I'm, I posted when I was in Rochester, um, like an Instagram reel of like everywhere I went a couple of months ago and I am going to do it in a few weeks. So I think definitely I'm going to start doing that once I go to more places and then whoever doesn't like it, doesn't like it. (laughs) There you go. I'm not (laughs) not a big, like, yeah. Um, I just think with that pandemic, I didn't really travel anywhere except for like Florida this last April. Um, and I did, I went to this like crazy, like Italian place and I didn't post it and I like regret it or I'm like, Oh man, that was a good, that was a good one. Yeah. (laughs) But, um, but yeah, so I think, I think maybe I'll start doing that if, you know, I just can't have that mindset of, you know, caring, but yeah, I get it. It's Buffalo food, but I mean, people just, I feel like I just like pictures of, of all food, you know? So yeah, it's just pictures of food that are fun to look at. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I've got messages when I posted like in Rochester being, or it was, um, in Toronto. I've, I've done like a lot of Toronto ones before the uh, pandemic because I'm like, okay, it's close. You can literally drive there. Yeah. Um, and in people loved it. And then a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, uh, I thought this was around the corner. What am I going to do? I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, you like if you're in Buffalo, there. it's a 20 minute drive, go to yeah. Canada. <laughs> like you could get there. Like, so, so yeah, I think I'm going to start doing more once I, Yeah. It also like, it would one, you know, not that that's all you care about, but it would, it would expand your following. And two, it would give people in those cities that may already be following you some place they don't know about it, Mm -hmm. giving them other options of places to go and eat, which like, that's what I want. That's what like, I look at your Instagram now for ideas for when I go back home of what the hell am I going to, what do I want? Where do I want to go? I I think like, yeah, after uh, June, I'm just like, I'm taking like two years and just dedicating. I've all my friends, like so many of my high school friends live in um, Chicago, Atlanta, New York City, um, Pittsburgh. So like all around and I'm, I am just making, okay, after I get married, I am need to go city hopping because I have been like the worst, just like, like the last couple of years, I just haven't like gone to a lot of places. We all mm-hmm. met up in Florida and then they come home for like, I don't know, winter and stuff, but I'm like, okay, I am making, I'm going to all cities. <laughs> so <laughs> that could, so maybe I could do like a thing, like, uh, like a highlight reel. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Things like that. So make it like a series kind of. Yes. Yeah. Good idea. You guys are inspiring me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do here on the podcast. We inspire people. <laughs> I love it. Um, do we have any other questions guys? Or do you want to go to like the, the regular podcast questions? I made I made the game. Did we oh, right. Yeah, please pull that up. Oh, my God. Yeah, we've got a whole game for you. So I did a little stalking on your Instagram. Okay. <laughs> and I made a little game Fun. called What Would You Rather Eat? So Ooh, I made a little PowerPoint. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to pull okay. that up. And it compares two items that are, whoa, why did I get so many options to share my screen? Oh my gosh, Sarah, you have a... Uh... The necklace, one, one, one. I have eight, yes. eight, eight. My angel numbers. Yes, I felt very, very. I love angel numbers. Me very, too. Yes, very. I haven't taken this one off in so long. Oh God. It means money. What? <laughs> <laughs> it means, it means that, uh, money is going to be. Uh, Sarah, you know, what are you sharing right now? And I'm like, okay, but when is this going to happen? <laughs> Sarah. What? what you got <laughs> You're <over>? sharing <laughs> Beetlejuice tickets with Sarah, seventy dollars <laughs> each. <laughs> Wait, you can't see the rest of it? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not very technological. Mine, though, means intuition. You're in the right place at the right time when you need to Ooh, be. Mine. I love that. I'm going <sighs> to Yeah, I, I got nothing. I don't. <laughs> can you see this? Yeah, yeah we yeah, can yeah, see it. Oh. Can you go full screen on that? I'm, I'm attempting to. Sorry. <laughs> 
Okay. Mm, it's loading. Okay. Oh, no, no, go back. So it's, what would you rather? So I, there's five different slides. So it's 10 pictures total. And they're comparing two similar items mm -hmm. from your Instagram of, and then which would you rather eat? Okay, let's do it. So the first one is Ted's hot dogs or JT's Buffalo. Ooh. This is a tough one. Um, <laughs> I know I what I'm going with. Go with the classic Ted's. I feel uh. like where I go, it's right across the street from where I live. <laughs> and it's just, uh, it's just so good every time. JT's is great. Like that's um, their brunch burger. It's so good. But mm -hmm. if I had a pick, I would definitely probably do Ted's. I'm going based on the pictures alone. Uh, I've never been to JT's. I have been to Ted's. Uh, I'm going JT's all day. <laughs> it's so good. It's so hard. Yeah, I think, well, if I'm picking it apart, the JT, I like that, the the bun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is good. a nice bun. <laughs> it it looks like a bun. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say <laughs> it looks like a brioche bun. Um, <laughs> but I know I've been to Ted's Hot Dogs a few times. And it's just like a nice, I feel like it's, it's familiar. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'd go for Ted's hot dogs. Yeah. I just feel like nothing beats a, like a potato roll. Like with a that is true. So, but like you said, brunch and like brunch is my language. So I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to either. So I don't know if I can actually make an executive pick on any of these. <laughs> um, the next one was like a breakfast. So I went with Betty's and mm -hmm. Mona Meat. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with Betty's. I love Betty. That's their breakfast burger. Mm. And anything like a burger patty that has an egg on it, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, considering the fact that I wouldn't eat any of these. Yeah, I wouldn't eat those. <laughs> so I'm out. I'm out on this one. <laughs> only because only because of uh the egg. The egg, yeah. I like I don't like over or whatever this is over easy sunny side yeah. up whatever you call it um I just like scrambled that's the only way I eat my egg yeah um but if I had to pick I would only pick I would pick Betty's because of the potatoes the home fries. yeah, yeah the home fries those look good <laughs> that's why home I'm picking Betty's like, too yeah so the other good. one came with a salad so mm. I like salads but like I don't want salad with my with my sandwich or burger yeah. potatoes all day yeah with egg on it yeah can't have a salad with an egg Okay. Egg. The next one, I went with pizza. So I went with hydraulic ooh, help, ooh. or I'm gonna butcher it, muscarellas. Yeah. Um. Ooh. I'm gonna go with hydraulic hearth because I love like going out to eat, and if we all like get like a different type of pizza, and I can try like different types, in hydraulic hearth has such great options. So I'm gonna go with hydraulic hearth. The crust on that one just really that's a it. that's a thick yeah, crust. Like if if I was just going by crust, I would pick that one. But I'm going the mascarellas because yeah, same buffalo that, pizza. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. And it's just that's yeah, the go to. I wouldn't eat the other pizza to be honest. Yeah, so to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah even pizza I'm picky about. So I went with nachos. Oh, 40 Ooh, thieves. 40 thieves or deep south. Oh my gosh. I literally crave like deep South all the time, but those 40 thieves nachos were probably like, Oh my, like, I remember I split them with like three people and that whole thing was gone. You have to, the, 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 and it was like after we went to brunch, <laughs> the, the appetizers that they have at 40 thieves are ginormous. Yes. I mean, the pretzel that they have there, you could feed four, five people. Yeah. Like, so I, yeah, definitely. This tray was like, 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with 40 Thieves. Okay. Uh, I have, I've I been to Deep it. South. I've never been to 40 Thieves. Um, but based, again, on the pictures, the uh, that looks like, what is it, like like powdered cheese on top of Deep South? So I'd have to go 40 Thieves with the more melted. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, called something, it's called like, uh, I don't know, something with a C, like co- Kotija, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Yeah, I always say it wrong too. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. It's really I've good though. It's it. a lot of Deep South taco though. They got great tacos. Great tacos. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I've ever really had a taco. I think whenever I go, I just get the nachos. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then this is the last one. 
Ooh. Buffalo, I had to go with wings as yep. the last one. La Nova Pizzeria or Elmo's? And you mentioned Elmo's before, so I can yeah. Know- I know you're going to go. Yeah. Elmo's for sure. Yeah. And these ones are, they're called like double dipped, um, on the pit or something. So if you guys go, you ask for double dip on the pit. Are they, so, are they grilled? They look grilled. Yeah. They're like saucy and like really grilled at the same time. Because sometimes when you ask for like, am on the pit, it's more like dry, but they make it. So it's like saucy and like crispy or like that sounds good like they look they look really they good look so good i have had uh lenova's wings before and they're great wings phenomenal wings but those those elmo's wings just look really good. <laughs> <laughs> so good i think i'd go almost uh one because i've had lenova's pizza and i wasn't a fan of it so i'm just gonna say and eh, maybe your wings aren't the best but who knows <laughs> Um, and also because uh, Elmo's has the Ken's blue cheese. Oh, and I yeah. like good blue cheese. Ken. Yeah. Yeah. Ken's is good. So I'll go with Elmo's. Perfect. That was it. Those were the five. That was so fun. Thank you I for putting it together. Starving scrolling <laughs> when I was making it. I was like, I want to eat all of these things. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's I think so I'm going to go to uh, Elmo's this weekend. Honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck okay. eating. I don't even know what I have to eat tonight. Yeah, you can go to Burrito Bay and Elmo's. I would would do that in a heartbeat. (laughs) Dave's favorite is, what is it? Rachel's Mediterranean is where you always go, Dave? Oh, Oh, I love Rachel. Mediterranean is good. (laughs) It's good food. So (laughs) good. Chicken shawarma. I mean, I would would do like all all the meat that they have there Mm -hmm. if I could. I don't know if I can. I never tried it, but yeah, that's good food. It's so good. I love Rachel's love everything <laughs> so sarah now you now you have to come to buffalo now i have to yeah now you have to <laughs> you have to try the food here yeah. and um Haley, if you ever find yourself in new york city i have a great taco place recommendation Ooh. it's literally called los tacos numero uno oh my gosh yeah. oh numero absolutely <laughs> so many i went to school at um in fredonia i don't know if you've you've heard of fredonia but it's a SUNY school and so many of my friends that live in Long Island in the city came to Fredonia. So, and they still live like out that way too. So um, I need to make another note to visit them because for like old jobs and stuff, I'd be in the city for like um, the worst like traveler by myself, but directions like going into the city gives me like a heart attack. I don't know how people do it. Like the directions, the subway, anything and it just panics me so I need to go with like friends and like enjoy because whenever I'm there I'm by myself mm-hmm. but like and a wreck like people are calling me being like hey Haley how's it going just make, like in Buffalo like are you okay <laughs> and I'm like crying I'm like <laughs> sitting on a corner somewhere just shaking <laughs> yeah because I was like pouring the one time I was trying to like read my phone at the same time without it getting like uh just like soaking wet. And I'm like, Oh my God, I don't know how people do it, but I applaud everyone who lives in the city. (laughs) I'm learning. My best friend has lived here for two years. So I'm leaning on. Oh, that's perfect. But I grew up in like Bergen County and it's like 30 minutes outside of the city. So like I grew up coming in a lot. Oh yeah. My friend, she lives in, um, is Suffering County. Is that close? Mm -hmm. I know where that is. Yeah. 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 It's a little more South than I am. Cause I'm very north mm-hmm. Jersey, but I know exactly where that is. Nice. Yeah. M- a lot of my friends now live in, I think Manhattan, Astoria, Brooklyn. Yeah. So like all over and they're always like, come, I'm like, I'll come after, uh, like in the beginning of summer once I have. Yeah. That's a great time. <laughs> yes. to yeah. One of my friends that I went to high school with, uh, she's been on the podcast twice. Her and her boyfriend recently moved to Astoria. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I've, I've slept there at my friend's house. It's like a little cute, like, neighborhood. Yeah. I felt safe. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so cute. Like, yeah, they described it, like, it when degrees. they were down here. They were like, it feels like home. It feels like Buffalo. Yeah. And I was like, well, there you go. Yeah. And then, like, it's so quick how it just changes into a completely different. Yeah. Um, like, just like, so, like, the whole transportation thing is just so, I still cannot get over it. <laughs> how people just, like, do it every day and, like, yeah. walk up here. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I just, I'm like, I just can't imagine not driving. But I guess like once you, like you're in it, it's like everyone I follow on Instagram, like all the famous people are all in the city and 
Yeah. You ever see anyone famous? So I haven't. No, <laughs> I haven't seen anybody famous, but my best friend and I, we love the Jonas Brothers. No. So we'll always see that Joe <laughs> Jonas is like city biking, like the streets of New York City. Wow. Like, okay. Why can't we be home when he's city biking past yeah. the apartment? <laughs> That's so wild. I can't because like, obviously Buffalo is like, I don't know. It's not like tons of f- famous people are just chilling like walking the streets here like yeah. i just can't imagine just like being in a city and like if i see someone like w- like that you're like or like oh my god i feel like i would have a heart attack <laughs> but they're normal people you know so yes yeah. yeah but they're not they're famous people <laughs> like yeah. working down here working at disney like i see famous people i mean sarah oh, couldn't yeah. vouch for this like on, a, on the regular i'm seeing famous people all the time yeah and so like i walked uh i put christina aguilera on our attraction a couple of months ago so yeah. like it was what? yeah it was wild yeah I just walked I, her down to the exit and put her on the ride and went have fun bye bye. I pixie dusted the boat that Neil Patrick Harris and his husband and his kids. Yeah. Wow. Wait. Like, so when that happens, like, do they get um like special treatment? Like oh yeah. Lovely? Like t- like do they have to call in advance or like how does some that of them work? do? There are several uh, celebrities who they'll just like come and walk around and like not care, uh, but most of them will get a VIP tour guide um, and they'll get like walked around the park and the VIP tour guides are in contact with basically every attraction and they'll like shoot us a text and say, Hey, uh, high priority uh, guest is, um, is coming through. Like, can we go to, can we go to your unload station and like get on a, get on a truck there? Um, And every VIP, so like you don't even have to be famous to get a VIP tour guide. You just have to have enough money. Um, and they'll always like walk you through the, the fast pass line or whatever. Oh. Um, but when it comes to like a celebrity, they usually take you right to the exit. So that way they can get you in quickly and not seen by a lot of people. Yeah. And then, um, like your vehicle could just like pass through the load dock. And, like, yeah. You won't be seen. But what like, about, oh, sorry, go ahead. When I met Joe, because he used to work at Magic Kingdom and that's where my CP was big, spoiler magic kingdom is like there's an underground uh-huh. so like, when the celebrities i can say it because i no longer work for the brand or the company <laughs> so it's like i don't know what you're talking about i don't know um they would have their vip tour guide and they would travel like underneath yeah like they would not walk wow. through the yeah like, depending on the level of through. of fame yeah they um, would go through the YouTube. what about like um I don't know, like the big Instagram family influencers. Like, do you see those people or like not? So, like, I saw. Um, a, you know, what I'm talking about like the like the LeBrant family. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I have never seen them though. I know that they are like a lot of those Instagram famous people or families are there regularly. Yeah. Um, if There's even if I did see them, I don't know that I'd really recognize them because yeah, they're like probably the taking so many photos and like little kids are probably yeah. Probably being like, and everybody, everybody at Disney is like walking around with they're all they're, everybody vlogs now, right? Everybody, everybody does it, so they're all walking around with their phone on a gimbal with a microphone here, just like always yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody does it. Um, that, like, yeah, that that fuzzy thing. Yeah, it's not that until like well. you see an a real real famous person you're just like oh wow like there's like i saw uh this was just before christmas i think i saw john stamos on a truck wow yeah um and he like he was just sitting there in the front row and he comes to the parks all of the time and he's like a really super nice guy um but he was just like sitting in the front row and i was standing on a different truck that was already at the dock and i was talking to the driver and i was like yeah yada 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 and i turned and I look and I gasp, like audibly gasp that it was because I saw he like turned his head slightly and I saw his profile. And I go, oh, my God, it's John Stamos. <laughs> I, don't know what I, I said that do. and I like walked away and he I, I looked back and he was looking directly at me. And I was like, <laughs> he heard me. He definitely heard me. Oh, yeah. So but, oh, my gosh. John Stamos, that would be such a cool person to meet. Like My famous or my cool favorite cool, one like- was um, I was standing I don't have a person next to me, but like as close as I am to my computer to Chris Evans. Um, wow. When he that's was at, yeah, that's when back and I worked at Magic Kingdom. I, he got on Peter Pan's flight and then he got off and I ran across the walkway over that's to like Small the- World where we also worked. I opened <laughs> up the Small World exit gate so they could walk down. He looked at me, he said, 
thanks. And I said, you're welcome. Didn't say anything. I said, I totally froze in that moment. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's really cool. How old are you guys? I'm 25. Okay, cool. 20, I will be turning 23 actually in July. I'm 23. Nice. I'm 28. <laughs> um, Can't believe I'm getting old. <laughs> oh no. It's like <laughs> wild. I'm like, oh my gosh, my birthday's in June. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Yeah. Like the pandemic, it was, I think I was like 25, 26. I was like, that was such a good time. Like the 25, I wish I could be like 25 for real. Hmm. I hate it. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Now I'm like, it's just crazy. It's everyone's like 30s coming up. And I'm, yeah, that's terrifying. I'm I'm more terrified for 30 if I'm being honest. <laughs> I know. I'm like, it's coming here before we know it. <laughs> uh you said you're getting your birthday's in June and you're getting married in June? Yes. My wow. birthday's June 4th, and then I'm getting married June eleventh. The week after oh wow geez i was gonna get married june 4th because i'm like oh i don't care i will hang out with everybody but my fiance was just like no like, let's just just do it the week after like i was like okay yeah are you getting like free catering no. since your birth uh, close to your birthday <laughs> no <laughs> pressure to have like really good food um so we're getting married at spring lake winery and they go through a caterer or like a restaurant called um zambistro and they're in medina um, and my, uh, fiance sister just had them at their wedding last uh, June and it was amazing. So we just went for our tasting mm. and it's like really good, like, um, you know, steak, there's just like truffle mac and cheese, uh, like all this like crazy stuff that I'm, we're getting, but I was such a chill. We got um, engaged last March and I was just like, oh, whatever. Like I booked the venue cause the venue has the food taken care of. So that was nice. And then I booked like, just like hair and makeup photographer, but then I didn't do anything until like last month. And I'm like, oh my God, like, so it's just been crazy. So when you guys get married, make sure you have a wedding planner or you just do everything right away because I still have to do everything. I just got, we're doing desserts. We're not doing a cake. So we're doing um, like cupcakes and these like, you know, like picture like a popsicle, but they're like cakesicles type yeah. thing. Oh, okay, okay. You yeah. bite into it, it's like a cake. Um, and just like certain stuff, like DJ, I just met with our florist. I'm like, <laughs> so there's so many checklist things that yeah. needed to happen, but it's all coming together soon. <laughs> just like I, I went to school for event management, so I totally yeah. understand your whole vibe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. And then just planning um like rehearsal dinner the shower the and everything adds up <laughs> yeah that's yeah, just like wow it's really yeah. expensive especially now like 2022 is the it said like it's the most it's the the year that every like the highest year that everyone's getting married like the yeah. most weddings yeah like that so the price is it's up there now <laughs> it's even because those who have postponed their weddings from 2020 and 2021 mm -hmm. They still got married on their own terms. Yes. They still want a wedding though. They're doing the, the they had put now. deposits down on their venues. They're like, oh, we'll just do it to celebrate our one year anniversary or like our six month anniversary. Like, mm -hmm. so they're planning the new big trend because yes. of 2020 and 2021, like canceling everything is to have a huge one year anniversary mm -hmm. party at the venue their wedding was supposed to be at. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Like, I'm always like, I love going to weddings. I'm like, oh, I'm like the perfect person to go to a wedding. I'm like, I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> but then like planning it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is. Yeah, so there's a lot. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I would just sit back and be like, I can't, I can't, can't do this. it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm My not the person like, for the job. job. He was like, uh, got the, um, just did the inquiry about our like rehearsal dinner. And he's like, whew. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't understand the rehearsal dinner thing. Like what, what is it and why does it happen? I just found this out. Um, cause I was confused. Yeah. And my whole family was confused. Cause I am just we're like, um, it's just me and my sister and she's a year younger than me. And my parents, like they haven't gone to a ton of weddings recently because all their, it's like kind of like the start when everyone like my age is starting to get married and things like that. Um, and so basically we're getting married at um, Spring Lake too. So it's like 15 minute ceremony, then go right into the party. Mm -hmm. So we're doing, we're actually doing it like different because the the winery is, it's booked on Friday night. Typically some people do Friday night before 
um, and then wedding Saturday, but we're doing Friday morning and it's just like a walkthrough. I think it takes an hour. So like the DJ will be there. Um, the event like coordinator at the, at the venue and then like all like the bridesmaids and like basically the whole wedding party and just kind of like, okay, this is how you're going to like walk down the aisle, make sure the songs are good. And then after that, you pick a place to kind of go like party and drink. Not nothing crazy, but I mean, knowing like my family and friends, it's going to be. <laughs> so <laughs> we're doing so a brunch. The, the dinner is li- or, obviously you're having brunch, but like the dinner is just simply a dinner. The rehearsal part of it is you going through to make sure everything's a okay yeah. for the wedding. Yeah. I don't know where. Um, yeah, Sarah, maybe you can answer. Like, but do people since I'm we're doing it at the um, the venue because that's where we're getting married. But when people get married in the church, like where do they do their rehearsal? So like they'll typically like say they're doing it at a church, like a church that like means a lot to them, like in their hometown. They'll do their rehearsal and then they'll have like a pre-booked catered dinner at like a local restaurant okay. for their like wedding party and immediate family, like whoever needs to be at the rehearsal dinner and then anybody else they want to like invite to that moment. Yeah. Um, that's what they'll, they'll do. They won't have it synonymous with their um, like reception location. If it's super far, they'll just do it that way. But yeah, it's just to practice and then yeah. just have a little party like, it's gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna be like, I, it's weird. Like, I love like talking to people and like, I'll like go, I can't like public speak. Like, it's like, oh, it's such, such a fear of mine. But like, I'll go up to like a random table that I don't know. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, so crazy. <laughs> but like, the fact of me walking down like the aisle and people looking at me, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> don't like, trip. That's it. A- <laughs> I'm like, should I take like some, a lot of shots? And everyone's like, no, don't take too many. <laughs> Just a few, you know? Calm the nerves a little bit. I'm going to have to. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, I always thought the rehearsal dinner was like you like rehearsing dinner. <laughs> like, I didn't I, know. I, I never thought about it either until like kind of recently. And my mom asked, she was like, so what is the, we're doing the rehearsal dinner at Spring Lake? And I was like, no, I don't think so. Like, and it was confirmed that you just pick. Well, because my, um, my fiance sister got married in, in Lewiston and then we went to like a local place in Lewiston after for like just drinks and like more like casual food. So we're not going to have like a sit down. We're just kind of like open bar, cater, like appetizer, pick what you want. Right. And then everyone can get a good night's sleep because (laughs) like, it's probably good that it's like a brunch because God knows what would happen. Oh yeah. (laughs) Friday night. Somebody's not showing up the next day. (laughs) Yeah, I know a lot of people who that would uh, that would happen to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, let, we've got a couple of questions that we always ask uh, our guests on the podcast, and these ones they don't are not they're not specific to you at all. They're just completely random. We've asked them to every single person we've ever had on. Uh, Dave, start with the first one. Uh, um, if I recall, well, I just know the main one. <laughs> Um, pick anyone you want which um which would you rather fight a deer or a goose Ooh. um and you can't just like run away like they're gonna you have to fight them i'm gonna have to go with uh, i'm gonna have to go with goose (laughs) yes let's go (laughs) I, I, i think i think i would obviously like get attacked but I feel like I, I could just lay there and <laughs> I, I would, I, I don't know. I feel like the deer would hurt. Like, I feel like the repercussions of a deer would be more than a goose. I don't know. No, but you're right. You're you, hundred percent right. As uh, you could tell, I'm, Joe was, I, I'm, yeah, I'm on, side. I'm on team, team goose. I'm fucking up a goose. If I'm being honest, <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing up yeah, that they- goose. Um, Sarah, you're, you're deer, right? So, so I am, I am deer, but it's deer by default. Yeah. Oh, because I'm petrified of birds. Terrified. Like, can cannot look at one. Oh my god! If I'm near one, so like I physically couldn't fight the goose because I would be too scared. Yeah. So by default, I I think a goose is easier to fight, but I would have to fight the deer because I'm too afraid of the bird. Yeah. yeah. And Dave thinks he's gonna <laughs> fight a deer, and grab it by the antlers, and ride it off into the sunset in the heat. <laughs> <laughs> my fiance he is he hates um he hates like geese and like birds and stuff and like he works he's a big golfer and he's a membership director at a golf club and there's tons of geese 
And oh, yeah. so whenever I'm like in the car with him, he like is like too bad. Or like if it, the ball goes, like he just tries to like full force like run him over. He's just like, <laughs> I can't like there's no way I could like swing and have a, a geese there. Like that's just I, I once had a goose fly at me when I tried to get my ball. Oh, because like God. I was just yeah. walking slowly around him and then he just like snapped his head and started running at me and I was like I- I'm not doing <laughs> this. Yeah, if you make eye contact you're you're done for <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm messing up that goose there's no <laughs> yeah, chance I'm, I think I am too I yeah feel like, I feel like deer I think deer are so cute um <laughs> I don't know I love deer. that they are they are <laughs> I'm sure they're cute but like it'll also maul me to death whereas a goose yeah. all it's gonna do is bite and peck at me yeah the repercussions I think would be easier. Yeah. I can't get stabbed by a, by a goose. Yeah. <laughs> so. that's, a good point. that's, that's all I needed to hear. We could, I, as for all I care, we could wrap the podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's the next one. Uh, uh, if you were stranded on an Island for, uh, what is it? A year, uh, yeah, like some, uh, you know, unallocated amount of time, uh, and you could bring three things with you, uh, there are some stipulations though. The, the island has uh, food and water provided for you. So like, you don't have to worry about bringing food, you don't have to worry about bringing water and you will be rescued after that year is up. So you don't have to bring a way to escape. Um, what three things are you bringing with you? Three things or so, uh, no people, right? You, if if one of your things is a person, you can bring a person. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like the right response would be my two dogs and my fiance. And your fiance. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love uh, if there, if it was possibility, uh, endless amounts of, uh, I guess, well, does, I don't know if this, like, if there's wine on the island, but if there isn't, I would definitely bring some wine. Okay. <laughs> Valid answer. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, like a sweatsuit, <laughs> like a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good uh, yeah and um, i don't know uh i don't know what do you guys like what are some good ones so one of i can't remember one of my answers was was a boat but not to get off not to like get off the island it was just like recreationally you know have a boat with me mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you guys are thinking like really strategically and I'm like, right. Like I'm there for a year. Might as well enjoy it. Right. Um, which yeah. of course you brought wine, so you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have said, uh, they'd bring like a pillow, a blanket. Yeah. I'm thinking like maybe tent because yeah, I feel there like you go. Not be a good person. To, like I'm a big survivor fan mm. and I was like my dream to go on when I was little, I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm going to be on survivor. But I'm like, I don't know how I'm terrified of like any bug type movement. <laughs> I hate like dirt, like <laughs> old, and I like would just be star. I would be the one that's complete. I would get like canceled because I would be like complaining the whole time about like I'm just starving. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and I wouldn't know how to build like anything. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember my three, but I know one of them was boat. Um, yeah. I think I said two of mine was a deck of cards. Ooh. And then I said a picture of my like family. <laughs> oh. I'm a big so many good ones I guess okay yeah we've had so there was for our 100th episode um you know 15 weeks ago uh we brought oh thank you uh we had every guest that we've ever had on the podcast on for the 100th episode um and we asked them uh all of the questions and we just like basically wrote down our favorites for the island and there were some like really creative answers like people like once they realize that like they're going to be rescued they've got food they got water people get creative with what they're bringing (laughs) Mm -hmm. if i could bring like uh like something to watch like all of my reality shows i'm that's uh i would sure do that that's a good one entertainment is key on the silence because yeah, it's got to be minimal <laughs> uh and then sarah do you want to ask the last one i don't know the last one yeah, uh, I, honestly it's, uh <laughs> i'll just ask it what is your biggest fear oh, oh yeah yes 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 my biggest fear is any sort of spider mm. ever like oh. it could be like a little thing and i will like i rather i would i can't kill it I, it's a fear when I was little, it all started when, um, 
I don't know, I was so young when I was little and I was in my um, parents like old dining room and I was like, I was like literally crawling on the floor. Like, so I just still like remember this. And I like just picked up this thing. I was like, looked like a pebble. And all of a sudden the legs just went like, and I remember I like had a heart attack. And ever since then, like I've just had so many crazy spider interactions that have happened to me, like driving, like I had to like pull over and people had to like get spiders out of my car uh, and I just can't do it. And I have the worst luck. Like it, like they know, they know. <laughs> the spiders know. Yeah. They sense the fear. <laughs> and I like tell my friend, I'm like, listen, like I, I would just Uber like, like when I was going out all the time, going to restaurants and like, or like going out um, like years ago, I would only Uber, well, for one, like safety reasons, but also, um, I would never drive anywhere because I like hate parallel parking too. And like leaving my car, like anywhere down there, I, it's like, no, thank you. And I'm like, listen, if it's summer, if it's warm out, there's gonna be a spider in my car and I'm going to crash. <laughs> that was like the two <laughs> things that I'm like, I'm Ubering everywhere. I'll spend any amount of money, but if I'm driving at night, I don't trust it. <laughs> so do you make your fiance kill all the, any, any bugs? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what my girlfriend has me do. And we have, <laughs> unfortunately we have started and by we i mean i have started many arguments with her over the fact that i don't want to kill her bugs i'm like shen you are 25 years old kill the bug <laughs> i can't no it's, it's sometimes it's like like i've tried i i think it, like i started um like last year making some strides with like a shoe where i would throw a shoe like across the wall like uh, so many shoes i couldn't just do it in like one take and yeah I did it. I'm like, oh my god! And I was like pumped. But like, I can't get like near a spider at all. Like, it's yeah, it's fair. What about you guys? <laughs> well, mine's birds. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is uh, heights, and I'm also claustrophobic. So, mm -hmm. but heights is my biggest one. I can't do can't yeah. do heights. I think mine was uh, partially heights, but my biggest one was probably just like dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it is great. <laughs> if you want to get deep about it, I was like, I don't yeah, want to freaking die. Being out, no, it's crazy that I'm like, the people, like, I don't know. Like, I have a fear of like, um, well, not a fear, but like, I was always like just nervous about like, like amusement park rides. I was like, what if? Like, like, just what if? And then everyone's like, you could literally be walking down the street and just like, like something would just be wrong with you. And I'm like, yeah. oh, well, new fear unlocked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm fine. <laughs> there, there is another podcast question that we're forgetting. What? And I remembered it. Haley. Good for you. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, that's what it was. Ooh. Yeah. Um, My pet peeve, I feel like I have a bunch, but like one that just comes to mind is um, slow walkers. I'm oh, very oh I get that yeah Good one. I'm on I'm board very fast walker and I feel like um wherever I walk like people probably think I'm being so rude but like I got it from my mom like she like we would like be in the mall as kids and she would be like let's like really like, literally weave in and out of people and like now so many of my, my friends in like in college when I was like walking to class like I don't like oh, you're like literally back there. We're like still having a conversation, but I am just a fast walker and I just can't. I'm like, you got to keep up. Yep. Or, yeah. <laughs> or get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the worst is um, if you're, um, you're walking your pace, your fast pace, and you're coming up to someone who's sl walking slow and then you try to go around them, but yeah. then you're just like, I can't go this way because like there's know, another yeah. like there's just the traffic is coming and you're just like okay mm -hmm. and I I imagine especially for you Haley because you are so short you can't really see through a large crowd of people no. which of course no. you said you hate crowds you should see me at concerts I'm like literally weaving in and out I'm like jumping up and down to breathe <laughs> while I'm like oh. I was actually having a very uh, similar conversation about this at uh, I was at Epcot the other day and me and one of my friends were both six feet tall we're and we're speed walking through this crowd and we can see over the top of the entire crowd right and so we're just like finding like those little windows to walk through people and it's you know but i just like i couldn't imagine being as short as you are and trying to do that exact same thing it is sucks and like, as like i don't know yeah it's like i think like as you said like claustrophobic it's just like becoming more and more of like now I like don't go like I now I'm thinking about where I'm not going like everyone's <laughs> like 
oh, like, let's go to Bonnaroo. And they're like, Haley, you wouldn't, sh- like, you can't really shower much. And it's yeah. you're suffocating with people just sweating on you. And I'm like, oh my yeah. God. So, yeah, I don't want to go. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to Firefly, which is like very um, similar yeah. to Bonnaroo, the shower experience. Most awful experience of my life. Oh, no. It was I, like, I feel like awful for you. <laughs> and I'm also quite short. I'm 5'2. So, like, I get. Yeah. yeah. I get the it's whole vibe insane. for yeah. sure. Oh, it sucks to be fun. short. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm on a nice, heels, I guess. I'm I on a know. nice average 510. I, I mean, I could take a couple more inches. I'd be happy with that, but um 510 That's is nice. <laughs> this is just you're not you're not 65, you're not hitting your heads off things, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But um also, the other big one that I have too is um like just being mean to like the cert like uh servers and like anyone that, like even if I'm having like a terrible like or something went wrong I'm always like everything's great like you know what I mean like yeah. and I've been with people like out to eat and things like that who are like really nice people but like if something's like late or you know like com- if something came out wrong um it, their like attitude just changes and I'm oh. like all right everything's good yeah uh, it's, so, it's like, okay <laughs> I'm, like, peeve, I'm like oh my gosh like I don't know I just always have to be you know I always like no matter what like just it's not, it's not their fault a lot of the time. Yeah. If someone's like being like really mean, then I'll still leave like a 15% tip. Like mm-hmm. someone's like the worst and like being mean to me, which never really happened, but like, I'll still leave a tip. But if someone's being like whatever bare minimum, I'm like, here is the, here's a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. I, um, a couple of weeks ago was telling a story on the podcast about a very, very bad experience I had at a restaurant. Um, and this guy, I mean, he was just so, so rude. And our entire table, it was a table, there were eight of us at this table. We all agreed, no tip. This guy was like, probably the worst experience I've ever had. And by the time the checks came, um, we were all like, we can't leave no tip. <laughs> because it's just like, it was so hard for us to leave. What did he do? Was he just like really rude? He was super rude to all of us. He, th- he like threatened to not serve us multiple times just because of things he thought we were going to do. Um, Weird. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. And so like, and like, I'm a very anxious person in, uh, in any public setting. So like, I've never complained. Yeah. I'm similar to you. Like if something's wrong, yeah. like if I order no cheese and they bring out cheese, guess what? I'm eating the fucking cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not sending it back. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I went and like spoke to a manager that night. It was so yeah. bad. And so like by the time the checks came, we were all like, no tip, no tip, no tip. And then the, he set them down in front of us. And we were all like, he didn't even set them down in front of us. He's handed it to one person at our table and said, here, pass these around. Oh, and I was just like, okay. son of a fucking bitch. And we I all left. I don't get why people like, like servers are like that. Let's yeah, talk. I can't. And like, I get like, if you're having like a really bad day, like it, it can be difficult to like be it. cheery, like, but yeah, like just to be honest with us. We all work at Disney. Like we, we were all in costume. We know we get it. Yeah. People are shitty. Like just be straightforward with us. Like, hey guys, not having a great day. Sorry if ever sorry if I'm not on like my, you know, a game. But yeah. we all ended up leaving in like it was a very small, very minimal tip. But we couldn't leave nothing. We all felt so bad of like yeah. leaving nothing that we were like we have to put something down. <laughs> so. that, that's always the worst when like you're just like I don't know you're just like so looking forward like going out to eat and like mm-hmm. it could like that could like then it kind of brings down everyone's mood and like that's the only thing you're talking about is like how bad. Or like how like rude the server is because I've yeah. had it happen too, and that's like been the whole conversation when like you don't go out to eat for that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now there is a question, but keeping on the pet peeve topic, that uh, I think we'll all appreciate your answer on. How do you feel about people that ride bikes in the street? Okay. Well, I don't like riding bikes at all. Like I'm not a bike person, okay. and I feel like when I'm driving, I guess since you can't ride bikes on the sidewalk, right? It's like illegal or something. I don't, so I think there are certain places where they say don't ride on the sidewalk, but most places I believe you are allowed to ride your bike on the sidewalk. See, I, I'm torn because because I, when I'm walking my dogs on the sidewalk and there's like bikers and I'm like, oh my gosh, like we're not moving like type thing. Like, uh, so that's like a pet peeve when that happens. But when I'm driving and there's like, I don't want to hit you, you know, it's like also like a fear of like me accidentally hitting something. Yeah. 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 
seriously. Um, so I don't know. And I've never been like a bike. I, this just came up. I'm like, my fiance was like telling someone that I like a fear of bikes. I'm like, I don't have a fear of bikes. I just like haven't rode one in a while. And I don't, I feel like if I was riding bikes, I would get hit by a car. Cause I would be like, <laughs> like if it's in the city, I don't know how people do that, but, um, I don't know. I think I am weird with both just oh, just don't ride bikes in Haley's opinion don't ride bikes. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know I don't know <laughs> Sarah feels very strongly about people who ride bikes in the street and I'll let her take it from here <laughs> it's just listen mm -hmm. there's bike trails for a reason mm -hmm. also you are on two wheels and powering it yourself I am in a car with an engine yeah. please don't pretend that you're a car and stick your arm out like you're gonna yeah. go as your blinker to turn yeah. I've seen that in the, I've seen that in the city. Like when I was just like walking in um, Manhattan and people were just wild on bikes and I was afraid across the street yes. with like the group <laughs> and yeah. people are just, like, there's different, there's bikes. different lights now. So I actually wow. came back to New Jersey for my job. I work from home half the time and work in the office the other half of the time. So I have my car here. So I commute back and forth from the city to New Jersey and they now have specific lights for when bikes can travel wow. because they've become such a popular mode of transportation but i'm like okay they're still going and their light is red please stop well, yeah I, I would be the same way i think <laughs> <Me not. laughs> it drives me nuts yeah <laughs> it's scary <laughs> bikes are wild yeah. yeah and there's like there's large groups of of bike bicyclists cyclists that will like ride um, like they're, you know, in the freaking what's that big race in, Tour in de France? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like they're in the Tour de France down here in Florida. And they'll just like through the whole neighborhood and they're taking up a whole lane on a one lane road. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, get out of my way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I yes. It. It's, I just think they're the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, that would just suck so bad if, like, you just hit someone. It would. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> suck I'm for like, that. That's what it would suck for. <laughs> I'm to fill out all that paperwork. So please, please yeah. just. Yeah. It's in, like, even a crazy, like, bike, bike, like, bike town, I guess. But I've come across some. <laughs> there was one time I was, uh, my mom came down here to visit and we were driving and we got stuck behind a large group of cyclists. And uh, I immediately, this was like right after we had this, this conversation for the first time on the podcast, I immediately pull out my phone. I'm driving and my mom sees me pull out my phone and she starts yelling at me while I'm trying to get a video to send to Sarah of these assholes in the road. Yeah. <laughs> and so the video is just me yelling at my mom that it's fine. And I go, mom, I have to take a video. She goes, put the phone down. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Wait, wait, were you driving or your mom? I was driving. <laughs> so, so like, I was, bad. I should not have been taking a video. For a valid reason, to, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 but, you know, it's whatever. Um, Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Uh, I think that's, uh... I think that's it. I think that's all we got. Yeah. Um, again, I don't have any weird weekly stories this week. Either. Nothing, nothing special this week. Dave, anything, anything you got? No, just depression from the Bills. Oh, oh, don't even get us started on that. Did you that watch the wild. game? Yeah. Yeah, that was just a wild time. Like, everyone was, like, it was was so just screaming, like, to, like, okay, to screaming, mm -hmm. to, like, like, it was just, it was just crazy. It was I honestly rough. was like, it's going to happen. We're going to do it. Yeah, I thought so. We're going to go. I know, another... it wasn't fair. It was yeah. just... Next year, though. Next year is our year. We got yeah. this. Four yeah. Years in a row after yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. I feel it. But anyways, um, so on to um trivia. On to trivia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so bright. <laughs> it's the whitest screen ever. Um, so there's like different, seems like different thing, different categories. So uh, there's general food, uh, American food. And Thanksgiving food, I think, are the three. So anyone got a category that they'd like? I got nothing. Haley, you got a, uh, any category you prefer? Um, um, I don't know. Can we randomly? Uh, any number sounds good. We'll do, we'll do American food. 
and the numbers are one through let's do 29 so pick uh uh let's do 21 which city in germany gives its name to one of the usa's favorite foods uh, am i supposed to answer this uh so we're gonna write down our answers and then oh, okay. once we're all once we're all good we'll give our answers do I, um, do I write it down or am I just listening? You can write it down if you'd like, because you also get to, you're, you're competing for, for the, uh, the bragging rights. If none of us get it right and you do, you then get to rub it in our face. Okay, yeah, I'll just smarter. get a piece of paper. Um, I know any cities. It's yeah, so I think I know what the food is, but I don't know a city. City in Germany. Yeah, bro. I don't know any cities in Germany. Um, uh, I don't know. I I'm just putting down what I think that I just want to know if I got the food right. I think I might also have the food, but I don't know. Is it two part question? No, it's, I, no. it's just the city, but I <laughs> oh, think okay. I know what the food is and I don't know the city. So I'm just uh, writing down okay. the food. I only know, I think one city in Germany. It's more than what we got. <laughs> Germany gives its name. I think this city's in Germany and I hope it is. Or I'm gonna I can't it. even think of a city in Germany. Like I'm totally... I That'd be nothing. embarrassing if the, I, if the city is wrong. <laughs> I'm like, I know one. I, I think there's a city. I could easily be wrong, but whatever. It's just because I think this landmark is in Germany is why I'm mm. going. I'm, I've, I've totally just given up here. You get, like, no matter what, I can't win because I didn't put a city down. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Haley, what was your answer? Um, Munich. Oh, fuck. I, I knew that one. Oh. Fuck. Sarah, what was yours? I said Berlin. Oh, how the fuck did I forget about Berlin? <laughs> oh. Dave, what'd you put? If this is a city, it's like, I, I said Frankfurt. I was thinking I that that is Frank. Uh, I, I just put the food, which is, I, I'm assuming it's going to be bratwurst. Oh, so we don't know where the city's from or where that. No, I don't know. Hamburg. Oh. Hamburgers. <laughs> Oh, wow. That makes sense. That Mm. does make sense. Okay, so which of these uh, cities is closest to uh, Hamburg? Oh, Um, I'm going to... Let's see. Wow, us Buffalonians really should have thought for a second on this one, huh? (laughs) Literally have a place called Hamburg in Buffalo. Yeah. Do you really? Um, Yeah, we do. (laughs) Not too far from you guys in West Seneca. No, not at all. 20 minutes, 20 minute drive or something like that. Okay, um, Berlin to Hamburg is the fastest route driving is 179 miles. Okay, Dave, what do you got? I am struggling because, mm. yeah. What did I say, Frankfurt? Frankfurt, yeah. That's actually a place, right? I'm not going. Pretty there. sure, yeah. It sounds, it sounds like a place. Here we go, Frankfurt, Germany. Directions to uh, Hamburg. It is loading. Frank, isn't that like a sausage too? Mm-hmm. Frank, Frankfurt sausage. Or I have no idea. Um, mine is three hundred and forty also- miles. What was yours, Sarah? 700 uh, 179 and uh, Haley I looked up Munich yours is uh 492 miles away uh, <laughs> you you literally picked like the opposite end of Germany it's like <laughs> as far I north think, yeah, Germany from... is super big uh <laughs> yeah I was gonna say um so it was farther honestly <laughs> damn well um I guess by by default Sarah you you win it based on distance. <laughs> I feel like Dave gets style points though, because like Frankfurt, I feel like is closest to like Hamburg. Um, Isn't that like a hot dog? Or I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm you're thinking gonna, of a Frank. Yeah, that could be a hot dog. Yeah, I'm not gonna uh, not agree with her because I'll just take a point for now. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, would you agree with that with Sarah's argument here? <laughs> I was I was gonna say that too because it does sound like a hot dog, like a Frank. Yeah. Like a Frank uh, okay, so we'll give Sarah two points for for being the closest, and Dave a point for being uh, close to food. food. Kind of like that food. <laughs> oh god! So Sarah, you are at um, two points. 
I am at two points since uh, from last week. And Dave, you are at a point. Yeah, one step closer to getting free food. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let's wrap things up here. Haley, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Um, this, so this was fun. awesome. Yeah, my first you... podcast. I'm always, I love Welcome. listening to podcasts all the time. Like just when I go on like walks with the dogs or by myself. So I'm a big podcast person. So I'm always like, oh, it would just be so fun. You guys are crushing it. Just talking. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We don't have a lot. Again, not a lot of followers, but boy, do we have fun doing it. We did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's great. And who knows? Uh, are you guys like on TikTok? Yeah. Uh, hey, one video. That's all we need. One you of our like videos. like a little like teaser clip. Uh, uh, one of our videos uh, last week was it Dave or two weeks ago? I would say last. Or two it weeks was, ago. Two weeks I think ago. it was two weeks ago. Got like twelve hundred views, which is our most yet. So nice. we'll take it. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, Haley, where can people follow you? Um, Buffalo Food on Instagram. So the food has four O's. Um. And then also I have like a, uh, another business that I'm doing. It's called Haley and Kim social. So me and my friend are running Instagram accounts and social media for, um, people in Buffalo or outside of Buffalo and helping them like create content, organize like strategy, things like that. Um, and like blogging. Um, so whatever kind of services like social people like, or, uh, social media like needs we can do. So that is Haley and Kim social on instagram awesome um and then of course uh what is your eat of the week the best thing you had to eat either you could pick ever because you've never been on the podcast or in the past seven days what was the best thing you had to eat the best thing i had to eat in the last seven days was um this ramen that had dumplings in it too um from limehouse in williamsville so good i love some ramen but it's a but it's a noodle. Yeah, but ramen's dip because it's more like a it's like it's kind of like soup and like yeah. noodles and soup is fine. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. You gotta go. <laughs> then you gotta try it. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I had. Oh, I'll talk about that because that's gonna be my eat of the week. Sorry, um, <laughs> Dave. Where can people find you? Uh, Instagram would be underscore David Sharkey underscore, um, or um, Twitter at dshark101. And my eat of the week would, um, what did I do this past week? Oh, I ordered, um, I ordered bacon pizza from, from Pasquale's and brought it up to Brockport. Um, and we had, um, that and what else? Was that just, oh yeah, no, I did just, I just got a large pizza. Um, it's as simple as can be, cheese and bacon. That's all. Can't ask for anything uh, better than that. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it was so delicious. So that's Dave's like, I think that's been your eat of the week, probably about seven times on this podcast. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> bacon it's pizza very, from the I haven't, had it, I haven't had it in a while. And yeah. So it was just good. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, what about you? Um, so my personal Instagram is Sarah with four A's. And then Bayless, B-A-Y-L-E-S. And then my disposable camera Instagram, which is at you'll see it eventually. So I haven't actually uploaded for about four months, but I'm going to Boston this weekend and taking pictures with my roommates from college who I haven't seen. And, in and surely those pictures will go up. <laughs> <laughs> eventually. Eventually. <laughs> um, and then my eat of the week would have to be Los Tacos Numero Uno. Ooh. the it's the best those <laughs> I've ever had big Mexican food fan yeah um it is like two blocks from my apartment so my best friend was now my roommate and I walked there yesterday and we got tacos I got a chicken quesadilla which is pretty much they tell you it's a quesadilla but it's pretty much just their taco with cheese melted on the tortilla and then folded in half Ooh. and then the pork taco with um pickled onions and pineapple Ugh. yum phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> top tier crushed hands down eat of the week yum um you can follow me on my photography instagram at sharky underscore photography uh my regular instagram is secret agent sharky and then my youtube channel is joe sharky uh, my eat of the week 
is I had hibachi for the first time ever the other day. Wow. wow. And oh my God. So like I ordered uh, teriyaki chicken and then it just comes with like the normal stuff with uh, the uh, fried rice noodles, which I wasn't looking forward to, but I did try them because I was spending a large chunk of change for this food. So I was like, I'll try everything. Uh, noodles, not bad. Weren't my favorite, uh, but they're not bad. Um, the chicken was absolutely amazing. Uh, I also got dumplings. Those were amazing. Um, God, everything was so good. And then I had, it was so much food that I had leftovers the next day. <sighs> Even better the second time. Love it. Did you go so for good. like the, the experience? Oh yeah. yeah. That's so fun. Cause it always, it yeah. like, I've seen so videos fun. and it looks really fun, right? Like the, the so onion fun. volcano looks awesome. Yeah. Um, it's so and it's as fun as it looks. Mm -hmm. So Dave, I don't think you've ever gone to Hibachi. You should go. I yeah. Never have. I just yeah. went in, uh, I think kind of West Seneca area. Um, maybe not, but Dow sushi. Yeah. It's on like Orchard Park road or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I went. You should go. It's so fun. Yeah. That's where everyone, that's, that's the spot. Yeah. Dow sushi. Yes. Yeah. I mean, again, the teriyaki chicken, like D Dave, you've had gallery mall teriyaki chicken, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that it tastes <laughs> better than that <laughs> wow. yeah, um and so like oh god it was just so good i i want to go back if i didn't if i hadn't spent a hundred dollars that night i'd be there right now um but uh, Wait, yeah, so fine. is it like expensive because like you got the just is there always can you just get like sit down and eat the food or is there always just like a, an experience with no like, you can go food? and just get like there's just like a menu you can just go get food is it is it the yeah. same price no, you don't have to get the so. like I got we got like sushi too so sushi came out and um when we went so I think they just charge you for what you get I don't think you'll get charged if you because they take kind of like your order before they go around they're like hey chicken shrimp or whatever and then if you just tell them nothing then they won't like make that big plate for you yeah. oh, okay, okay. you can get anything else on the menu but just be sitting with everyone in that like fun little square yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay yeah. Yeah. It it's like not always time. that expensive. Like, you know, the place down here is like, you know, it's in Orlando, right near Disney. They're going to charge because everybody's a tourist there. Um, but, uh, I also was paying for two people. So like I, it was only $50 for me, but I paid for Shannon as well. So yeah, but well worth it. Cause the food that you get, I mean, it's like a hefty, hefty serving of food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So highly recommend 10 out of 10. Um, as for the podcast, you can follow us on Twitter at CSG Pod. That is C S G P O D. You can follow us on TikTok at the Shuffle Podcast. Um, subscribe on YouTube, uh, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, all at the Shuffle Podcast. Um, for those of you that have been watching our clips on TikTok, thanks. Shout out to all of you. Um, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Thanks. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing, is there? Perfect. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> See you later.